Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Pisces. What does your guides and your angels and your ancestors want, uh, want you to know for December 2022? This could be in any of your placements because this reading can be about anything. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Um, so we're going to see what your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to know. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, flip, twisted, or reverse. This is a reading more so for the Piscean individuals that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth, okay? So uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces' uh, guides, angels, and ancestors want Pisces to know for December 2022 for Pisces? What does uh, Pisces' guides, angels, and ancestors want Pisces to know for December 2022? All right, we have the moon here and the world. It seems like you're overcoming fears, okay? Fears that you're letting go here, perhaps, you know, could be energy that you are living your true authentic life now, okay? You could be in this energy of revealing yourself uh, or, uh, for, you know, who you are as a person, okay? The moon, Cancer, Pisces here, the world. We have the Ten of Wands here and the Five of Cups. So, like I said, I feel like you're doing, you're, I, just, I feel like you're shedding a lot of layers here. You're just doing a lot of releasing, you know, letting go of your disappointments, your regrets here, your fears here, okay, your pain, your traumas, the justice in the wheel of fortune. This is coming out a lot for a lot of people, the wheel of fortune and, um, and uh, the justice card. It just seems like, you know, the karmic wheel is kind of like turning in everyone's favor here. You know, it could be that you're clearing out karma, you know, uh, you're clearing it out, you're healing from it, you're letting it go, things are balancing out for you here, the, the moon. We have the magician here, Gemini Virgo, the world. And then we have judgment, Sagittarius energy. Just seems like, you know, you could be in this energy of really finding closure here. You know, really having what it takes to do the work that you need to do in order for you to clear out your karma here or to balance out your karma. Judgment, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is this Ten of Wands here? We have the Emperor, Aries energy. Tell me about the Five of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. You know, I feel like there is an energy of sort of like having that aha moment. An energy of really starting over again. Letting go of all those Ten of Wands and starting with a new wand here. Okay, you know, I just feel like, you know, there is some great inspiration that's happening here for you. I feel like a light is being lit under your ass here. Sort of like really exciting for the next chapter in your life. Yeah. Tell me about justice. We have the fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. The wheel of fortune here. And the three of pentacles. You know, I feel like this is going to be a, you know, Self-work is a consistent thing that you have, it's an ongoing thing, you know, uh, that you have to go through in your life. You know, it's just not one thing that, that, that you just work on and then it's over. You know, it's like multiple layers of stuff that's going to be coming towards you. But yeah, there is the energy of sort of like, there is like major excitement about this new chapter in your life here. Uh, because like I said, you're closing out some sort of major karmic cycle here. You're clearing out karma. You're balancing out karma here. Uh, what else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know from their guides, their angels, and their ancestors here? What else do they need to look out for, work on here, work on? 
I think I said that already. All right, let's see. All right, we got the Eight of Wands here and the Nine of Swords. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here, and the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and then the Empress here, Libra, Taurus, and the Eight of Cups. We have a true pair here, the Emperor, <coughs> the Emperor and the Empress here. I mean, it could be indication that you embody both divine masculine and feminine energies here, you know? So like I said, I feel like there's an energy of overcoming your fear, your anxiety here, okay? There's an energy of definitely moving forward and moving forward very, 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 very quickly here with a high priestess and the chariot. So I feel like there's an energy of sort of like getting con getting your life back in con in, in, uh, into control here and just being in this energy of really, really trust your intuition and really tapping into your higher self. You know, just, you know, right now you're in this energy of like, Perhaps you are leveling up here. You know, I, I do feel like there's an energy of like, you know, being a lot wiser here, okay? Uh, or just like, kind of like having a lot of wisdom now, okay? So the Empress here and the Eight of Cups, Libra Taurus here. You know, there could be an energy of definitely moving on and walking away from, you know, this Ten of Wands energy that's no longer serving you anymore. Tell me about this Eight of Wands here. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. And the Ace of Cups here. Wow, this is unexpected. There could be unexpected new love that's coming towards you. Perhaps, Pisces, you might be meeting your divine counterpart here. Okay, that could be a part of the new chapter that's, uh, of your life that you're, that you're starting here. All right, so Aries, Scorpio energy with the tower here. Tell me about the high priestess. We have the six of cups. Tell me about the chariot here. And the hangman, Piscean energy. This connection that's coming towards you, Pisces, it's going to be really spiritual and transformative. I feel like you are meeting a past life soulmate here. Okay? You know, I feel like this connection will be spiritual where you're able to open each other's eyes, okay? To see things in a much bigger perspective here because I feel like both of you guys have, you know, strong, like a strong background in spiritual spirituality and spiritual knowledge, okay? Um, let's see, Piscean energy with the hangman here. Tell me about the high, uh, not the high priestess, the empress. We the... We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is a this is going to be a really really spiritual connection here. The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So I I just feel like there's an energy of really really trusting the, trusting a higher power here and overcoming these fears. It might have taken you a long time to do it, but I feel like you are doing it. Okay, I just feel like there is no more re uh no more of uh, revisiting uh that really bad place in your life instead of like instead of like revisiting it and ruminating about it i just feel like you're turning it into a lesson here for you you know so uh so pisces i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.